Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we have got the new announcement. Well, not really a new announcement, but they did show off Revontuli Coast for the very first time. And I gotta say, there's a lot of really cool stuff coming with this map, so let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and let TK go over the species list, because uh, to be honest, there were so many species that I'm not going to be able to remember them all, so let's just play the clip. Species list first? Okay, all right, species list first. So again, 19 species, ladies and gentlemen. We have, of course, the Capercaillie, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, let me just say they are some beautiful birds, right? Uh, if you don't know what Capercaillie is, go and Google it. It's... Um, uh, it, it's a it's a fairly uh, character, you know, a verb a lot of character actually, and it's um, very ingrained in most of the Scandinavian and different parts of uh, Europe as well. Actually, I think hunting culture. It's a big bird. It gets about five kgs in real life, which is about ten pounds. Um, next up, we have the uh, willow tarm again. Okay, so we finally got some uh, sort of uh, upland grouse. Are they class? I don't know if the class is grouse anyway, but uh, so you can you know you're better flush those out. Then we start getting, uh, actually these are not in any order, no, I've read it out, it's fine. We've got a whole bunch of ducks and geese as well, so uh, the golden eye duck, we've got the tufted duck, we've got the black grouse, which is an, another upland bird, we've got the hazel grouse, which is another upland bird, uh, we've got the uh, Eurasian teal, which are small, super fast ducks, which are going to be uh, a lot of fun. Um, Eurasian widgeon is another duck species in there, uh, rock ptarmigan is another species in there then we have ladies and gentlemen the raccoon dog now um uh soupy i think it's called right in uh in finnish these things are horrible nasty little death machines they kind of look cute until they stare into your soul um uh and they the finnish people try and, and eradicate them as fast as they can are really bad on wildlife they eat a lot of eggs birds uh and stuff like that they just uh, you know, uh, the Finnish trash pa trash panda, basically, if you want to get into it, that sort of that, that thing, except, except way more aggressive and way more nasty. Um, we have a grey lag goose. We have the bean goose. We have a mountain hare, uh, which, uh, um, yeah, like a very typical hare species for up here. Now, then we have a whole bunch of, obviously, because it's nature, right? And nature does copy past us some stuff every now and again. Mallard ducks. Canada goose. Lynx. White-tailed deer. Brown bear. Moose. And there is a great one released with this. There is a great one released with this map, okay? But I'm not going to say anything else with that. We're going to let you guys uh, work out what the great one is, yeah, where it is, and all that other stuff, okay? Um, so, yeah, it should be pretty cool. So, as you guys heard, there is quite a few awesome species here. A lot of birds. I believe there was a total of, like, 14 bird species. And, to be honest, I am perfectly fine with that. That's exactly what I was hoping to see out of this map. I know there was a few people that were disappointed that there wasn't something like reindeer on the map. But, to be honest, I'm not really too mad about that because we do have so many amazing bird species. And this is a waterfowl-focused update where they're getting a complete rework. So, I kind of expected there to be lots and lots of birds. And it's exactly what I was hoping for out of this map. So, I'm really happy to hear that there's going to be 14 different bird species. That's uh, pretty crazy. And most of them are brand Brand new as well which is also great now there's going to be some footage playing in the background showing off all of these brand new species that they just added but we're also going to talk about some of the changes that are going to be coming with this update now there is going to be a brand new great one they did not say what it is they're going to leave it up to us to figure out what map it's on and also what species it is uh, we've got a brand new 22 ammo which is the 22 truncated cone ammunition which i believe he said it was for the 22 Hornet, but I think it actually is the 22 LR, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's what we saw in the past when they uh, accidentally showed it off. Uh, then we got faster flying ducks. So, so the ducks will be flying much faster than they used to, and they're also going to be more difficult to hunt, which is great. It's good to see that the waterfowl hunting has, uh, from what we could see, definitely got the rework that it needed. And according to TK, he was saying that it is going to rival Classic for the best bird hunting in a hunting game, which is amazing to hear. I was really hoping for that. 
He also mentioned that the Red Raptor and Marksman Exact Sight rework is going to be coming with this update, so we will see reworks to the Red Dot style sights. And I'm going to assume that's because of the Waterfowl update. They're going to most likely cater them towards that a little bit better since, uh, as of now, they are just not great. They're not really used too much, and for good reason, they, they don't exactly look very good. Uh, they're difficult to use, the dot's way too big on the Red Raptor, so it's going to be nice to kind of see what they actually change. They have not shown it off as of now. I'm really interested in seeing what it is, because, uh, yeah, there's uh, definitely some cool things they could do with it. The Hunter Classic has a good version of it, and so does the Hunter Primal, in fact. I kind of like Primal's a little bit better with its picture-in-picture uh, -picture style, so... Hopefully they end up doing that with the Red Raptor, uh, but we'll have to wait to see what they show. They have now made it so the HUD and map icons can be toggled on and off separately before they were linked, so if you turned off one, it would turn off the other, which was really unfortunate and not really a great change, so I'm glad to see that they are finally uh, fixing that and giving us the option to turn both of them off separately which is going to be great. They have also added in a borderless full screen mode, which is going to be amazing, or not borderless full screen, but a windowed borderless, which is a huge request a lot of people have had for uh, Call of the Wild, and it's awesome to see that they're finally doing it. This has been, I think, one of the most requested features that I've seen when it comes to, I guess, like uh, graphics options, which is great. It's nice to see that they're finally giving you guys the option to do borderless windowed. I personally don't use it because you do lose a little bit of performance, so uh, do take that into account. However, it's going to be great for the people that want it. They have also made it so that you can rename your dogs finally, so if you name your dog something and you realize that you want to name it something else, or maybe you had a typo, you will be able to rename it something different, which is good. Uh, there's also going to be an overall to the harvest check icons, which uh, that's not anything major. We actually did see a little bit of that last week, but uh, it is going to, I guess, give a little more clarification for what each of the checks mean, and it's going to make it so newer players are, uh, I guess, have a little bit easier time understanding it, which is nice. Always good to have some more quality of life features like that. Obviously, we're going to have the weapon wheel coming into the game as well, so you can more easily select your weapons when you're on uh, controller. All right, so I actually already recorded this entire video, but I forgot to mention this one very vital piece of information. That's the fact that we are not getting a weapon with this reserve. We're actually getting a boat blind, and you might, you guys may be thinking, oh my gosh, boats are coming to Call of the Wild, but it's not exactly what you would think. It's not a boat that you can drive. It's uh, basically a floating blind, a floating duck blind, and that's actually a really cool thing to replace the weapon with. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect that, but I'm kind of okay with it. Like, that's gonna be really cool. It's not the, the boat feature that people want, it's not a new gun, but it's definitely gonna be something really cool and I'm interested to see how it works because a boat blind just sounds amazing. It sounds like it's gonna be a ton of fun. But anyway, now that we have gone over all of the stuff that is going to be added with this update and all the things that are going to be changed, or at least uh, a good majority of the ones that were notable, there was other changes as well, but these are the ones that caught my eye. So we're going to talk about what I think about this update, and from what I'm seeing, I do think this map is going to be pretty fun. It looks really good. The map itself is beautiful, which I expected out of a Finland map. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the wide open plains that they showed off in the northern parts of the map. Uh, the whitetail hunting looks to be pretty crazy as well. Uh, the way the ducks land on, uh, on land and water is great. And that's an amazing change. And I gotta say, I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite maps to hunt in. Specifically because of the waterfowl. It, they seem to be really good now. I, I just hope that uh, there's not going to be any bugs that come along with this when it comes to the waterfowl hunting. Uh, but then again, there's always at least a small one here or there. But I'm hoping that nothing major will happen because if nothing major happens, this could be one of the greatest updates they've had in a very long time. And that's something the game really needs. And so far from what I'm seeing, it looks pretty impressive and I'm very excited for it. And out of all the species that they showed off, the Capricallis and the Black Grouse are probably uh, the two nicest looking from what I've seen. I did really enjoy the uh, ducks that they showed off and also the Bean Goose from the brief look that we got at it. And it did actually surprise me a little bit that we got Greylag and Bean Goose. 
but I'm happy about it. That's really cool. We got gray leg and bean goose as well as the Canada geese. That's three geese species. Uh, Forgive me if I'm forgetting one. Like I was saying, I don't remember the entire species list. Uh, this is just a barely after the stream has ended that I'm recording this. So uh, forgive me if I forget a few things, but I'm excited to see multiple goose species on one map and also uh, the mass amount of ducks and upland birds. It's going to be so nice. And as far as this new great one, what do you guys think it's going to be? I personally am thinking that it's going to be one of the brand new species. It's hard to say which one. I would not be surprised if it ends up being like a Capricali or something like that. Uh, but at the same time, I have seen a lot of people saying that it's probably going to be a animal that's on the base maps. And if that's the case, I'm hoping for fallow deer or black tail deer or possibly Roosevelt elk. Um, moose wouldn't be bad. I'd definitely be okay with a moose. It's not my top choice, but it wouldn't be bad either. It could definitely be fun. But uh, let me know what you guys think, because I know there's a lot of people that want a moose great one. Is there a different great one that you guys would like to see instead? Or would you prefer to get a moose or a new species? Let me know. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, kind of covering everything that was shown off in the EW stream. There was a lot of cool stuff, and I'm very excited for this brand new map. Hoping that we will see some more about it very soon. They did mention the Waterfowl rework will be shown off more in depth next week, so... Uh, we will have some coverage of that whenever that gets shown, but until then guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!